Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. Today I want to revisit one of my favorite topics in Bible prophecy, and that is numerology. I want to look at the four evil entities in the end time chapters of the book of Revelation. Of course, we know that the number four is one of the end times numbers. And four is also a number of completeness. That's because there are four weeks in a month, four seasons in a year, four compass points, north, south, east, and west. And of course, there are many other fours in Revelation. A very significant way to express the number four is as a three plus one combination. That's because three plus one symbolizes the Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit equals God. Now the four evil entities, that is the Antichrist, the false prophet, the one world government, and Satan, they are perversions of the divine Trinity. It should be clear that the Antichrist is a perversion of Christ. The false prophet is a perversion of the Holy Spirit. Satan is a perversion of God the Father. And the one world government would be a perversion of the divine Trinity. Let's take a look at how St. John organizes these three plus one combinations of the evil entities. First, let's look at which of these four evil entities are beasts. We know that the Antichrist is the beast from the sea. The one world government is the beast from the abyss, or the bottomless pit, also known as the scarlet beast, also known as the eighth beast, and also known as the fourth beast in Daniel. The false prophet is the beast from the earth, but Satan is not considered a beast. St. John always refers to him as the dragon. Now, if we categorize these four evil entities by their heads and horns, we come up with a different 3 plus 1 combination. The Antichrist has seven heads and ten horns. The seven heads on the Antichrist symbolize the seven blasphemous world religious leaders who will support him. The ten horns symbolize the ten secular world leaders who will support the Antichrist. The one world government has seven heads and ten horns. St. John says the seven heads symbolize seven mountains and also seven kings. And the ten horns symbolize ten kings who will have a short reign during the tribulation period. The false prophet, however, does not have seven heads and ten horns. The false prophet only has two horns. And when we look at Satan, Satan also has seven heads and ten horns. The seven heads on Satan undoubtedly represent the seven deadly sins. And the ten horns probably represent perversions of the Ten Commandments. Another 3 plus 1 combination occurs when we look at which of these evil entities will go to hell. Of course, we know that the Antichrist is cast into the lake of fire. However, the one world government, being an organization, cannot go to hell. The false prophet, we know that he is sent to the lake of fire, and also Satan will end up in the lake of fire. Now let's look at the fourth and last set of permutations and combinations of these four evil entities. And that is which of them will survive during the entire seven years of tribulation. Now we know that the Antichrist, his reign is for only 42 months. And that is the second half of the tribulation. So he does not reign during the entire seven years. In fact, that's another reason we know that the Antichrist cannot confirm some kind of covenant with Israel at the beginning of the tribulation because his power is only for 42 months. Now the one world government, that will extend throughout seven years. In fact, that is almost with us already as we can see in the development of the European Union. The false prophet, if we understand that the false prophet is also Wormwood, then we know that he begins his reign during the first half of the seven years of tribulation. And, of course, Satan has been around a long, long time, so he will be here during the seven years of tribulation also. We should not be surprised that numerology is so important in end times Bible prophecy because God often speaks to mankind through mathematics. In fact, the entire universe has often been compared to a very complicated timepiece. And we very much need to understand numbers, numerology, 
and how our Lord combines them to express the universe and the end times. And if you would like more information, simply write to the address you see on your screen.